because the Jets have traded Sam Darnold to the Carolina Panthers in exchange for a sixth-round pick for this year's draft, a 2022 second-rounder, and a 2022 fourth-rounder. What does this mean for the Jets, for the Panthers, and for Sam Darnold's career? For the Jets, the explanation behind it, Joe Douglas, general manager of the Jets, came out and said that they traded Sam Darnold because of the position that they had in the NFL draft. Drafting number two overall. And if you wanted to move on with a quarterback, hmm, I wonder who they're going to draft in the NFL draft. Hint, hint, it's Zach Wilson. We expect it to be. At least that's what we're going to say in our mock draft next week. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with that mock draft next Thursday. It's going to be lots and lots of fun. So it could be Zach Wilson, could be Justin Fields. I don't know who it's going to be. I believe it's going to be Wilson, but I think regardless which quarterback it's going to be, I feel like if I had to put my finger on it that the Jets are going to draft a quarterback. Sam Darnold has moved on to Carolina. What does this mean for Darnold's career? What it means is that he no longer has any more excuses. He was drafted to be the number three overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft to be that franchise quarterback. Some projected him to be the number one overall pick in that draft. No more excuses at this point moving forward. You finally have weapons. You have one of the best running backs in the NFL in Christian McCaffrey. You have a wide receiver that you played with that you have chemistry with with Robbie Anderson. You have another former first-rounder at the wide receiver position in DJ Moore that you have as an extra weapon. No more excuses. A young and upcoming defense on top of that as well. Guys like Brian Burns, like Derek Brown, like Jeremy Chin, offensive coordinator Joe Brady is going to be his offensive coordinator who's apparently this young, gifted offensive mind. I don't know. He could be. He could not be. Hasn't been in the NFL long enough. But with Darnold... Maybe you could do some amazing things. For, so for Darnold, I'm excited about his career, and I'm excited about the Carolina Panthers and that division in the NFC South, which I would say, and, and compared to all the other divisions in the NFL, the South is up there in terms of offensive talent. So the Panthers were just a quarterback away from being great, and maybe Darnold will be that quarterback. So we'll see about Sam Darnold. Oh, how could I ever forget the ever-so-lovable Adam Gase? No longer in the control of Adam Gase moving on and could have a career resurgence, someone like Ryan Tannehill. It's proven time and time again. Players move on with uh, from Adam Gase, have amazing seasons and amazing careers on top of that as well. So, Donald, no more Adam Gase. You should be excited. That's awesome. Now, as expected, Teddy Bridgewater, once they traded for Sam Darnold, has requested a trade. And I think for the longest time, this whole entire coaching staff was ready to move on from Bridgewater and just get another quarterback. I mean, they've been talking about trading him to other teams. They've been inquiring with other teams. Hey, will you accept a trade if we trade away Teddy Bridgewater? And they finally got another quarterback, and Teddy Bridgewater and his team came out and said, let's just – inquire about a trade. Let's see which other NFL team we could go to. Now, this offense, I feel like, wanted to have a quarterback that was dynamic, and Teddy Bridgewater was not that guy. Now, that that's not me saying that I hate Teddy Bridgewater. I love Bridgewater. I think he's a good quarterback, but he's not dynamic, and that's not me saying that, man, the term game manager is so condescending nowadays around the NFL community. And I'm not saying that to be condescending. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. But Bridgewater, if you think of the definition of a game manager, Bridgewater kind of sort of fits the mold. Hey, you're not going to throw a lot of yards, a lot of touchdowns, but also at the same time, you're not going to turn over the ball and you're going to win some games. Like, what's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that. At least you win some games. You win six games for the New Orleans Saints, go 6-0. and With the Carolina Panthers, he was a game manager as well. So I think that the Panthers, even though that game manager mold and Bridgewater's play, how he was with the Vikings as well, is not necessarily bad. I don't think that the Panthers were willing to just accept that and just be content with that and realize, okay, maybe we could go to the Super Bowl with this kind of play. I think that they wanted to take another step up 
and get someone that has the potential one day to throw for a lot of yards, has a potential to throw for a lot of touchdowns. And Sam Darnold, even though he hasn't proved it just yet in New York, could be that guy. So I think that the Panthers were ready to move on from Bridgewater at that point. But you have wide receivers. You have an, an elite running back. You're just one tight end away. And man, the best tight end in the NFL draft right now, Kyle Pitts. Because if everybody goes early getting quarterbacks and magically at number eight, Kyle Pitts falls to you, that's wonderful. But if you think about a team that's thinking about trading down the Atlanta Falcons at number four, if Kyle Pitts is still available on the board at number four, if you're the Carolina Panthers, do you make that offer for the Atlanta Falcons to trade up maybe a first-round pick, a second-round pick, whatever it may be, a, a draft pick next year as well, to trade up and get Kyle Pitts? Because that offense, if they get Pitts, would be pretty freaking dynamic. So the Carolina Panthers are in a very good position. Sam Darnold is in a very good position. And for the New York Jets, they did the best they could. I feel like maybe you could have gotten a little bit more out of Sam Darnold if you traded him a little bit earlier before free agency. But because of the situation that you were in, I, I feel like you did perfectly fine trading away Sam Darnold and potentially drafting your uh, franchise quarterback in what we assume to be either Zach Wilson or Justin Fields. So all three camps, Sam Darnold, Carolina Panthers, New York Jets, all win in this trade. But leave your comments down below. Uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube or if you guys are listening to us on the podcast app, hit us up on social media. Let us know your thoughts and your opinions on Sam Darnold being traded to the Carolina Panthers. Is this a good move for his NFL career?